Today I'm gonna show you how to make a filled sweet potato that is packed with protein and can be dipped into two different low calorie sauces that are super easy to make. First thing first, let's prepare the sweet potato. Sweet potatoes have slightly more calories than regular potatoes, but are still a very good carb sauce that is very filling and tastes delicious, especially in combination with a savory sauce. This one weighs about 300 grams, and before baking it, I will grab my fork and poke some holes all around the potato so the steam can escape while baking. There are two choices for baking this, you can prepare a wire rack with some parchment paper, lay the potato on top and bake it now at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 F for about 30 to 45 minutes. However, you can also use the air fryer, which is what I do most of the times. Set it to air fry at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 F and the potato takes anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes depending on its size. Put it in the basket and let it air fry for at least 30 minutes and then check for doneness. If you can poke a knife with almost no resistance, you know that the potato is ready. So while the potato is baking, you can make everything else. Starting with the barbecue sauce, you can absolutely just use this store-bought one. A lot of them taste pretty good to be honest. I would recommend checking sauces that are around 100 to 130 calories per 100 grams. However, I would highly recommend giving this sauce here a try. First, you need to slice one half yellow onion and roughly chop it into pieces. The size doesn't really matter here, just give it a rough chop. Then you will also need one clove of garlic, give it a light smash so it gets spilled easier and then cut it again into smaller pieces. Now prepare a pot and place your scale next to it, that will make the entire process a bit easier. Add some oil to the pot and add the onions with a pinch of salt. Fry the onions now for about 2-3 to three minutes, stirring them occasionally until they get some brown spots and start to caramelize. Then add another bit of oil and go in with your garlic. Fry the garlic just for about 15 seconds without letting them burn. Now you need 1 teaspoon or 3 grams of smoked paprika and half a teaspoon or one and a half grams of chili powder or cayenne pepper. Give them a stir so they get toasted. This will develop a nice deep flavor. Next is 15 grams of tomato puree. Add it into the pot and let it brown for 20 seconds. Next is 20 grams of white vinegar. And from here, the scale will make everything a bit easier. You can place the bottle on the scale and press the zero button. Add a bit to the pot, check how much you add it and adjust. You can do this with all the ingredients. Then you will need 100 grams of zero added sugar ketchup. This particular one has a lot fewer calories than regular ketchup so it's worth buying it. Next is 30 grams of honey for some sweetness and 15 grams of mustard. Give everything a stir, still on medium heat by the way, before adding freshly ground black pepper and a pinch of salt. Give it a last stir and remove it from the heat. You will need to add about 30 grams of water, this will help at the next step which is taking out a blender. Pour everything in slowly and now blend this on high for about 60 seconds. Give it a try and adjust for seasonings. I would suggest to transfer everything into one of these squeeze bottles, you can find them relatively cheap on Amazon, the sauce will last in the fridge for at least a week. The next sauce is yogurt based. Now you can either use fat free Greek yogurt, but if you have access to the 2% fat version instead of fat free, I highly recommend using that. It has slightly more calories, but it has a bit of sweetness that the fat free one doesn't have and it tastes a lot better for just 15 more calories per 100 grams. Place a bowl on a scale and add in 100 grams of Greek yogurt, followed up by 2 grams of olive oil. Then you need to add garlic either with a microplane or a garlic press. Next is a little squeezer of fresh lemon, freshly ground black pepper and lastly a pinch of salt. This dip tastes incredible, especially in combination with chicken. Next is the protein sauce and I have here one skinless chicken breast that weighs around 180 grams. I will slice this now into fine strips around 1 cm or half an inch thick. This will help cook the chicken not only faster but also more evenly. For seasoning you need to add a pinch of salt freshly ground black pepper and a couple of dashes of garlic powder, mix everything so the meat gets coated with seasoning and then prepare the vegetables. Since there is already a huge sweet potato, I won't go crazy here. First cut off a red bell pepper, remove the core and then slice it into planks, turn it and then cut it again into bite sized pieces. I will also chop up the other half of the yellow onion and then it's time to cook. But before that, let me thank the sponsor of today's video, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a platform for all current or future YouTube content creators that helps them optimize and grow their channels by offering features such as a title generator, a thumbnail analyzer or a video tag tool. My personal favorite is the Keyword Explorer. Let me give you a quick overview. By clicking on the TubeBuddy overview, you can quickly access the 
Keyword Explorer, here's where you can type in a specific keyword in your niche. For example, high protein breakfast is something I would type in. TubeBuddy analyzes this keyword now and shows how good or bad the keyword is. As you can see, TubeBuddy just told me that making a video about high protein breakfast is probably a good idea because it has a high search volume, normal competition, and a lot of optimized potential and thus gives the keyword 100 out of 100 points. There's a lot more to explore in the platform, so if you are a creator who wants to take the next step in the creator journey, click the link in my description, install TubeBuddy today, and get 20% off with my code FELUBUDDY20. Thank you TubeBuddy! Preheat the pan to medium heat, spray in some oil, and add in the onions and the bell pepper with a little bit of salt. That will help cook the vegetable faster. Now fry the vegetables for about 3 to 4 minutes, stirring them occasionally. The onion will first become translucent and then get brown spots and caramelize. This is where you can push everything to the side of the pan, add in another bit of oil, and now go in with the chicken. Try to separate the chicken as good as you can so they get in contact with the pan surface that will maximize the browning and add a ton of flavor. Let the chicken sit there for about a minute, then check the bottom of the meat if there is enough browning going on. Once you get the meat to this point, give everything a nice stir and let the other side of the chicken fry again for one more minute. This entire process will take you about 5 minutes in total, so keep an eye especially on the meat so it doesn't become dry. So now, first slice the potato into half, open it up, and then top it with your chicken and vegetables. Then add one or even both of your sauces on top and there you have a very delicious meal that is packed with flavor. The filled sweet potato comes in with 552 calories, 73 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fat and 44 grams of protein. The yogurt sauce has 92 calories and the barbecue sauce 211 but it's also a lot more sauce than the yogurt dip. If you like this recipe, you need to check out my cookbook. It is packed with great recipe that will help you lose weight without you even thinking about being on a diet. Breakfast, lunch or dessert, everything you need is in this book. And the best part is that I am constantly updating the book with new recipes and you will receive every recipe update for free once you've purchased the book. It sits at 4.9 out of 5 star rating, so click the link in the description, you won't regret it.